Hey guys, this is Pastor Scott and Diana, and we're still out here at the God's Ten Commandment Park, and uh, I'm starting fitting the bill right here. Got the beard going and a winter hat, but let's go outside. I just wanted to show you guys. I went around and surveyed the property. Looks like we got some light snow out there, and it was about an inch and a half, two inches last night while we slept, and uh Took Diana into her ministry at Logan's Health over there in Kalispell, about 30 minutes away, at about 4.15 this morning. And we were some of the first people on the roads. The trucks weren't even out yet. Um, but by the time I headed back, um, they had already started to scrape, you know, to plow and to uh, do whatever they do, throw chemicals or salt or whatever that stuff is they do out here. I'm new around here, don't know all about it, but let's check this out. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Just beautiful. Let me flip this around so you guys can check it out. And we'll go out here. This is at the front entrance. And uh, through a little bit of that... Uh, Snow, ice, stuff, whatever. Polar bear. Supposed to eat it up. But yeah, it's kind of thick. I need to get a uh, snow shovel out here. I think Pastor Jolene said she has some. So just wanted to share this with you guys. I did a, a lap earlier just to, just to get the blood pumping. And <clears throat> it's not too cold, though it looks cold, at least as far as Montana goes. Uh... In the 30s, somewhere in there. I mean, obviously enough to have the snow coming down. Not sure if you guys can see it, but it's actually snowing. <clears throat> the Jesus saves. Barely see. That's how high the snow is. And our plants are pretty much no more. There's the entrance. And, uh, yeah, I'll get a snow shovel out here in the next couple of days. As the Lord leads. Here's our little car. Here's some of the things that maybe not everybody does out here. The neighbors don't, but we do, Pastor Julene and, and us. We got this wonderful uh, Sub-Zero cover. And you guys can see the snow kind of just comes down and bounces off right there. And it keeps the windshield good. And this one's kind of cool. It also has a little dealy right there for the window. So when you get in, you're pretty much good to go. I learned and found out uh, pretty quick that at, when you're overnight, the snow is built up here. You might want to use your glove and sweep it off before you open the door. Otherwise, it goes onto the seat. <laughs> uh, we're out here on the mission field learning new things all the time. The Lord takes us around the world to some of the most, the harshest conditions from the jungles of Kalimantan to the snow in Montana it was 18, 17, 16 degrees the other day. And I have to say about these magnets, they do work. People pay attention to them. And the other day I was at WBC getting some of these awesome gloves that Brother Stan, the handyman, said, who has experience out here. Rode to work one morning years ago on the other part of Montana in negative 50 degrees on a motorcycle and lived yeah they're tough out here but these are great nice dipped and uh insulated as well so you can toy around in the snow and the wet and not freeze your hands off but the other day i was coming out of wbc uh building supplies to grab on those gloves and uh, there was a gentleman walking across the road and i stopped and he was walking across the driveway and I signaled him to go and then he signaled me to go, but I pointed back and back of him at the traffic, telling him there was quite a few cars coming, so I wasn't gonna be able to go. And he walked by, my window was down because I just jumped in and I wanted to say hi to him. And he pointed, kind of looked at the magnets right here and he must have noticed the, the God bless America, Merry Christmas. And he said, Merry Christmas, brother. Just a guy walking down the street up here in Montana not certain that that would happen in Southern California, in some places at least. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, so we're out here just doing the do. We will remain open through the winter season, God willing, as long as we can get in over the berm. <laughs> and uh, yeah, look at that. Three of the billboards, the snow fell off. 
one of them still needs to have the snow off. When I get the uh, snow shovel out here, I'll just come out here and put up my flags out there on the side of the road. You guys can maybe see them right over there. I can zoom in, it says open. And I'll come in here and uh, use the snow shovel and get the snow off of our banners, our billboards. So the top two, the snow already fell down. The bottom two need to come off. And then, yeah, so I'll just come out here in the morning when I get that uh, snow shovel, scrape out the entrance. I'll throw the snow, uh, snow eating up stuff before I leave. So it'll be fairly clean. And then put up the flags on the road so people know that we're open and take the snow shovel and clean off all of our signs so we can preach the word even in this weather. Amen. And the big billboards are up and the snow doesn't stick on them except for the top. Yep, on the side of the road, preaching the gospel, even as cars drive by, a roadside witness, Pastor Scott and Diana, out here at the Ten Commandment Park in uh, Columbia Heights, Montana, about 15 miles from the west entrance of Glacier National Park, going to keep her open for the first time in history through the winter, God willing. We feel led to do it, and the Lord already blessed, uh, is blessing the ministry um, not as many visitors, obviously, um, or magnets and such going out the door, but people still coming in for prayer. A lady needed to use a phone because she got broke down on the highway, ran out of gas. And then last night we had our first Bible study here at the Ten Commandment Park that me and Diana have hosted uh, with uh, Hungry Horse Chapel. Josh and the team had about 12 or so people here last night. Pastor Jolene, who uh, had was diagnosed with pneumonia and um what was it covid a couple months ago played publicly and sang with her keyboard and led us in worship last night after beating covid at the age of 81 when the doctors said uh, covid and covid with pneumonia was a death sentence but jesus is king and he beat death so if you know anybody that needs prayer, reach out to us. We'll be happy to pray for you. That car with a few signs looks like my gospel car. That's our little uh, mission mobile up here in Montana. Little Chevy Equinox, all-wheel tires, all-wheel drive. And yeah, my wife likes to put just a couple of the bigger ones on there and then one on the back so we preach the gospel instead of a whole bunch of ones, just specific ones uh, that she enjoys. And that's how we roll, however you see fit. Contact us if you need anything at all. Give us a call at one 70 jesus or log into our website at oneaccordcrusades.com. Scott and Diana checking out. We'll give you more reports as things happen. Take care.